going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Planet Coaster. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, don't want to forget to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when new things are happening. And here we are. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is a game I've been meaning to try out for a little while now. Just had, just, I forgot it was in my library. And then when another game messed up way too early in a season, I was like uh, digging through. I was like, I really want to play something like builder wise uh, on a town or something scale. And I forgot I had this and um, did a little bit of testing with it, played a little bit, did some of the scenarios and looked at a couple tutorials to kind of get a feel for it. And I, I think I, I like it. I like it, actually. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and play it some. Hopefully some of you are a little experienced with the game, too, and uh, give out some pointers as, as we go along to the series. Let's go get started here. This is all about making a theme park. Um, I'm going to do the sandbox one because... This one has, well, there's unlimited cash. I figured it'd be a good way to really learn the insides and not the game, but it still runs and has all the stuff that happens um, during it. So there's still a challenge of like trying to, if I want to balance things, make sure everything's good, try to make sure rides are good, all this other stuff. But let's get into it and I'll show you why I think uh, we'll, we'll enjoy it a lot. Let's call this place uh, Tasty Goodness of Love. How about that? Or The Tasty Goodness of Love. How about that? Let's start new. And hold the middle mouse button to look around this, around in some ride cameras. I can also learn to speak English when I try really hard. So let's pause by pressing P. I think that's right. Is it paused? It looks like it's paused. Oh, interesting. Oh, we can. I didn't set the lighting camera effects. I didn't, I didn't notice that one before. Interesting. Cool. That's pretty neat. Okay. So anyway, uh, this is where we go. This is our, our area we work with. And this is the entrance way coming into the park. Looks pretty nice. It's spectacular-ish. And this is the entrance way here. And so there's some things that's pretty cool about this uh, that, that I want to show you. So let's get right into the terrain. This is something that really like got me to go, oh my god. So uh, you can just build specific parts of terrain up. Let's do the, let's bring up the intensity is up. Let's bring it a little bigger. There you go. And see, the thing about this is then you don't have to go just up. You can go sideways. And you can come down and you can do things like this. And you can also go down to the ground. Right? And then also there's water. So then I can put calm water in here and fill it up if I wanted to. And there's also rough water. Let's do rough water. And so there there's different things. That, that really make this thing shine just immediately, in my opinion. Here's the rough water. As it runs, you can see a little bit of waves and stuff happening. So this this is super cool. I, I really like that alone. There's also, though, some other features in here. So if we go into buildings, I have gone to the workshop, grabbed some stuff off the workshop. So you're going to see it loaded in there because I have some ideas. But there's also building in this, like from scratch. Like it's that's pretty cool. Um, let's do what? Uh, let's do castle. So you have all these building pieces as well. And let's choose. Let's just do something simple, right quick. Uh, never. It's never that way with me, though. I I know me too well. Here's a quarter circle. So let's say we start from here. We can put this, and then add loud snaps, and you can actually build complete buildings like seriously like it's got everything in here to do uh, there's a good range of, of building pieces if you're into that the build which uh, you know i am i don't want to spend the whole time all the time doing this this is kind of why i went online and grabbed some stuff off the workshop but here we go here's a wall and then these will snap and that you can go up with it too it's it's really cool how they work oops wrong place and you can get rid of that without a problem which made me happy there we go. And then oh, if I, I think we hold the delete. No, it's not that way with these. Uh, there we go. And there we go. And then then there's other things on here. Let's see. Here's the capstone. There should be a, another piece that comes out. It's a slim store tower capstone. Small one there. That's small. We want a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Um, uh, God dang it, boy. Where's it at? Is this it? Yes, we can use this piece here. And if I hold shift, I can choose the height that it goes. That's not the right one. This one's right here. No, that's not it. Oh, that, look at that. The column extension there. Where is the actual... 
Hmm. There's a lot of different things. Like we can do like a simple crenellation type covered up area. Uh, where is this? Uh, there's some bigger ones too. There we go. There's that. You can just do a simple thing like that. But there's a couple other things on here. If I could find them. Here we go. Here's a buttress. And there's like just different options that we can accomplish to build things. Just for even just aesthetic state reasons and stuff. Um, and then there's a little like a ring too. Where's the ring at? Right here. So if we want, we can go here. If I go right to the press V to undo the crazy snapping that it does. Let's go on the ground. Let's go on the, uh, I guess we should do it right there. Press V. And then there's also advanced commands too. So I'm going to take you point in the middle, press X. And then now we can bring this up and dress it up some. So there's like all these different options we can do. And then we can end up saving it as a building and and do different things like and then we have windows where's the windows at where's the windows right here here's some windows here there's little square windows you can put those like actually oops i didn't mean to do that we need to finish oops my bad my bad excited showing you stuff guys and this is what happens check mark yes escape and then we can go down to the windows again and then on the sides here press v we'll snap on there and it, it's pretty neat how all this works out so then we can end up building like, you know, like a tower here, you know, whatever. And speaking of towers, we can do, uh, is there any more of that? Is that the other one? It's the curved one. Is this it here? No, that's, that's not it. That's stucco. Stucco. Uh, where is it at? Man, I am just, I'm bad at this right now. Right now, John Bain. Yes, right now. Here, we can just do this too. Is this the smaller one? Oh, that's it and we can just go ahead and finish it off instead of digging but you can do this awesome like layering and stuff like this and like actually build this and then you can be present done when you're done editing let's say that's it and then you can take the whole piece and then move it so you can actually create your own little things going on here and press shift when it gets here there we go oops I mean press that and look look I mean, is we just you see how quickly kind of did that, and I'm just fumbling around with it. So there's a lot of cool options with this. I'm gonna go in the scenery, and if we like, let's say this was the thing, and let's let's just choose trees, those little ash trees. You hold shift to put things up and down. You can press Z to turn it around. You can hold Z and move it to kind of get more specific, and then you can press spacebar again, and you can you can get down to the whole 360 degrees. So uh, the options here are just really amazing, in my opinion. And uh, I didn't do anything really good. Then we can go to the free mode. And you can see just like the scale of what we can accomplish pretty quickly without much thought. So this is kind of why uh, I think this would be pretty cool. Th there's also rides in this game and the whole sim management and stuff like that that happens that, that is included in the sandbox. So uh, th this is not the only thing, but I just figured it'd be cool to show you. And what what, what it was right at the bat so you can kind of have an idea of the scope of what we're looking at. And the cool thing here too, we, oh, we have this as well. I forgot. We can also paint different kinds of stuff here. Turn that down. Let's see. And look, we can paint on different textures and make this look more stone. You can even do it here. Heck, we can go on the beach here and put on some rocks on the edges, which kind of looks a little bit like sand a little bit, you know, and then you can choose how intense it is and then layer it up with some of the grass. Kind of splotch it up some. So there's a lot of options available. And this is what makes me excited about this. So we can get into some cool terraforming and whatnot. And that's what we're going to do. That's that's what the plan is anyway. Let's grab you. And I have a feeling that I might spend too much time on this period playing it. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. But... And then can we do that? Haha! <laughs> Floaty Islands! Holy crap, that is amazing. There we go. And then we'll, we'll flatten out that little spot there too again. And just kind of get this back to par. So anyway, that's kind of some of the options we can have. So, you know, it's not just like, let's make roller coasters, that's it. No, 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 no. There's a lot more, which you can build the roller coasters from scratch, which is nifty too. Let's go ahead and get into the paths. There's a couple different options with paths. Um, what does it start off with? It has that like cobblestone -y thing. It's a different one. Is it this one then? A flagstone? Oh, it is flagstone. Um, 
kind of like this one. This one looks more fantasy-ish to me. So let's change these out with this so we can have a neat look to it. Oh, look, there's our first per family that's going to come and we're not going to be open for them. They, 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 they don't know. They don't know, man. What is that in there? Oh, are those the... Oh, those are the roller coaster spawns. Night. I mean, the people spawns. That's pretty cool. So, uh, unfortunately, like your entrances, you can't, it doesn't look like you can change it, like the size of it. So, like, uh, let's say we do a big one. Like, let's just, let's go with 10 meters. And you can see what we can accomplish with that. So, th that's pretty, pretty big. I'm going to go with eight. And let's come up with like a, let's, since we could do caves and stuff, let's come up with a cave idea. Um, I'm going to choose delete. Get rid of you. Let's do this from the start. Like that. And let's go forward a little bit first. And then let's kind of like do a turn and then come back to the path. Maybe start off like a little bit away. And then we can change the length. That is the shortest length we can do. Maybe a little bit more than come back like this. And then do something like. And just so we can have the mystery of everything happening. And then come back out to where it is physically in almost the same spot as it was coming in. So this actually needed to come up a little bit more. Right click, it's uh, control and right click will help get rid of more things. Maybe come in a little bit more, then come up, and then wiggle up, up. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's just say that's it. Let's say this is this is it. We can adjust it more later. Actually, looks pretty close. So, what we can do is actually, I want to build a cave for this. I think that would be really neat to, to start off the whole thing with a shebango of a cave. Um, and let's go ahead and bring the size. Uh, let's, we can do some decent sizes. And kind of start here. So the first thing we're building is not flatness. Some people should be happy about that, I would think. And just kind of bring this up. And what I want to do is actually like make the cave, but then inside of it, we can carve it out and start up like we're doing some different things with it too. Like actually have little, little like viewing attractions with animatronics going on and stuff like that. There's that. Let's go. Just kind of doing this though for our. Initial. Let's go ahead and bring up the intensity some. Intensity! There we go. Yeah. And kind of get something shaped out here. That might be pretty nifty. And there's the, a good challenge to this too. is because we're getting it initially built. And then we need to make it to where it looks good into our environment as, as well on top of that. So it, it, there's a good challenge with this, I think, to get start off with this. And kind of get us our feet wet in here. I'm just going to fill you in here. There we go. And how about this? I'm going to do the speedy uppy thing right here, right now. So we can get this thing formed out. And then when we start making the cave stuff, we'll come back and, and talk to them. I might fade in, fade out here and there just to kind of get things going. But this is this is what we're doing. I'm working on it. We'll be right. Well, we're going to go right now. Let's do it.
All right, welcome back. And uh, we've got some stuff chiseled out. So I think the exterior of this, hello again. You, you're, you're getting closer or closer, but not there yet. Um, kind of played around with this some. I need to fix it up a little bit more, but it's a good start at least to kind of make it look more mountainy than just this blob of like goop, because it could look like that pretty easily. And inside we've got three areas chiseled out now for potential interestingness to have to happen. Let's start with this one. Now, there's some cool scenery things going on in here, too. Uh, namely, I like dragons. They have a dragon in here, and we're going to do like a, a, a fantasy type thing at first. And there's a sleepy dragon. Yeah, there is. And let's see. Let's choose shift. Well, it was all right before. Let's press shift and it will reset its position. Um, Z, there we go. If we put a dragon like right here. He's sleeping. Um, and to help out with that visual of sleeping on something, let's do... I don't know if he wants to be sleeping. Let's put him on the rocks or something. Maybe that could... Oh, that could actually get the right kind of lighting in here. That's one thing. I had all these little lights in just so I could see where stuff's at. Um, it's not going to stay there. For the, we got to at least be able to know what the heck I'm working with here. Also, there's a treasure. I got some treasure stuff off of the um, workshop to use. Uh, let's see first, though. Let's do a little bit of sculpting. Let us do a tad bit of a pull here. Turn down the intensity so it's not that much. Maybe about like that big. Kind of change it up a little bit and then I'm gonna pull out the wall here. Bring up the intensity some and make it a little bigger. And we, we'll get rid of a lot of the smoothness once we kind of get things worked out and how it's going to go. But right now, we're just trying to make a little spot now for this treasure. And I will smooth this, though. There we go. That looks a little bit better. It's just a mix up the, the terrain heights, too. Don't want to have everything just flat inside of here. Kind of need to have it flat for the dragon, but... Oh, so that's the shop stuff. Let's go to the scenery. I believe this is in the blueprints. Here we go. Got a couple different ones, but this is the one looks like here. That's okay. There's this huge one, though. 
Yeah, I like the huge one. It's kind of over the top. I think we could do that. Let's go out here. Place that, and then I think I can just select this guy and get rid of it. Hmm, maybe... There we go. There we go. So that's it right there. <clears throat> Let's press M to move. Because, I mean, it's, 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 this is like a, a park, a theme park, so it, it, it needs to be kind of crazy-ish. Okay, so maybe the ground needs to come down a little bit. Let's put you out of the way right quick. And maybe burrow in the side a little bit more. So I go to terrain. Let's actually, let's just dig up a little bit to kind of get some more space up top for it. So that's getting close to the edge of it. All right, let's smooth over here. A little bit of flatness here just to kind of get it in. Then we can redo how it works. Move here. Press shift to reset its height, right? Okay, and then pull <clears throat> Z to rotate it. And it's like the dragon sleeping, guarding his treasure. And it looks like these are going to come down a little bit more to cover it like that. Okay, cool. And let's go back to the terrain. Let's remove some more stuff. And see, it's cool because this has its own lighting on it. So it could be lovely. And we went through the wall. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's part of the... Okay, I was like, wh what did I do that? I didn't do that. That's part of the map. Press T. We go to free mode. And see, that adds a little bit of, of neatness to it. So let's go into the painting and go ahead and paint all this again Barack. And make it look more... And then we can add the this and a small amount on the edges of it. And see how it adds some sparkle to it too? Kind of make it look a little more treasury. So we can get this around here. Let's bring up intensity some. So it doesn't look like he's just sleeping or she is just sleeping on a bed of stone only okay that's a good start to get something kind of idealized in what we're doing can we change the intensity of these we can just change the color i wonder if we did like a yellow on that there we go and then what if we move you oh, that might be good I mean, we can work around this little piece here. It doesn't necessarily have to be visible. Maybe we can do this. Hmm. What if we put it like this and have like the light coming? Oh, that, that gives a nice little glow to it. Let's do that for now. There we go. That looks pretty good so far. Just as a beginner thing. Uh, let's go ahead and start treating this area a little bit then. Um, grab you. Let's go to this. Let's make the size. Yeah, nothing. Um, let's start carving a little bit here. Oh, so we don't want that. But we want the stone one, the rock one. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That adds a little bit of, of, of little bit of design in there. Let's pull this out right here, though. And I'm thinking about we can do something uh, kind of different. Let's pull out that a little bit, too. Now we'll do the big, smaller size here and see if we can do, like, maybe... This. Oh, 
Come on up, baby. Come on up. Come on up. Let's go up. There we go. This is started off like having a little like stone pillar thing happening. There, there we go. That adds it in there and we can kind of shape out kind of like a little arch. And we'll, we'll end up making it look a little more deformed. It's just getting an idea of what we're doing. I'm going to go to free mode on the camera. Make it a little bit easier to kind of situate. There we go. And this kind of adds some more flavor to it and kind of add a little bit of bulges here and there. Not make the bottom a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker right there. Okay. And kind of step this up a little bit. There we go. And see, so it kind of opens a little bit of pass here through so that, you know, it gives it, give it some like, you know, a little bit of character. Let's deform this a little bit more. Well, not that much. That's kind of crazy right there, man. There we go. There we go. It's starting to look, it's starting to look a little bit more like what we're thinking. Go forward. There we go. Let's bring this in a little bit. Kind of bring in a little bit more of like a, making it into more of a room. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Let's get this here. Kind of break that up some. And again, maybe back here some more to bring some more shape into it. I used to like doing environmental work just in go in Unity and just start building stuff and just because I enjoyed that. And this really reminds me of that in a way, but there's some functional game stuff already built into it. So I don't have to make a game to enjoy other stuff than just building environments. But I, like I said, I used to just enjoy building environments in Unity. So this is reminds me of that very much so almost like they're using a voxel uh, terrain mod modifier uh, or plugin, I guess you could say. It feels like it anyway. They, of course, I'm sure they wrote their own. Or whatever engine they're using. There we go. There we go. And see, it kind of gives it some more character already off the bat. And we can use some of the stone that we have available to really bring this out a little bit more. And add some more character to it. Let's, let's mess up this a little bit in front now. Kind of give it a, like a natural little rise going on. It's more like stalagmites like tidy. I might have not liking that and smoothing it out some, but this is at least a start. Let's use the other camera mode to kind of try and get this a little janky. And we'll lower that. Oh, that's a little too much lower than I wanted. And this is just kind of just a little bit of touches here, some detail work. I think right here could use a little bit of loving. There we go. Uh, I feel like that came over a little too much on this side, so we'll pull it off a little bit. There we go. See that? That's pretty cool so far. So the dragon's chilling in here. He's got his little treasure. Uh, let's go ahead and do some more things with this. And let me just go ahead and toy around with this and then get this thing working, looking like how I want. But you kind of get the idea how this room's going to go. So let me get this done. We'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Here's something here. I put in some rocks around here. Got it set up. Got this in. I feel like something should go in here, but we'll leave it like this for now as an inspiration comes. I don't have any of the DLC for this game. Uh, it's kind of expensive to get the pack. So I decided to trying to work with what I had and go with that. Let's see how it looks when it's going because the dragon breeze. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we also need to add something else to add to the flavor. There's something cool in here. Uh, speaker. We have one that will play music and we can just hide it in the rocks over here or something like, you know, tastefully. Maybe we can just put it here and then that's the correct facing. There's the correct facing there. And bring it down. Because the lights on the pathway are going to go away eventually. 
We're just using it right now to get it. We'll, 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 we'll probably put them on the roof and then change the color so it's softer, so it's not so evilly bright. Maybe here. And then we'll change the music to Magical Town, I guess. Let's make sure this one's on Magical Town, too. Magical Town, okay. Press play. Let's go away and come back at it. Maybe that's what we needed. <laughs> I think that'll help set the mood as you come into the park. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so over here, I started carving out something else to get something started. Uh, let's see. I kind of did this because I want to add some water, but I don't want to put the water in yet until we kind of figure out what exactly we're going to do. Um, let's bring this lip here out a little bit so we have a little more to work with off the road. Still, oh, that's a little bit too much. Control Z works in this game, by the way, which is amazing. Let's put the size down smaller. And let's change some of the texture to the other one so it looks a little more flat. There we go. Oops, we have some uh, things happening. We'll clean that up later. So that gives a little bit of an edge on this. Uh, and then over here, we'll go back to this and kind of see what we can carve out of here. And then do this. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Kind of get a little corner in this. All right. Um, I don't know. I feel like we could make a little bit more room over here. Let's do that. We can always put stuff back in, too, if it looks like it's too much. But for now, for now, let's just go ahead and get this cleared out. And then choose the flattening here. Yet again. Okay, and then pull this over. I'll give it a little more of a lip going on. Let's bring up the intensity just a tad. Kind of get this back. There we go. That looks pretty good. Pull out a tad right here, bring it up. Okay, so we have that much already done. Let's make a little section here, because I think there's a campfire. Yes. Okay, this will give us a nice reference point for the size of stuff. B will make it snap to the edging of the heights and stuff. Let's put it like right there. And again, we have these in lights in here now, just so we can see what's going on. Is that? Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, maybe we can do some crates. Let's do a medium one. Okay, so this needs to smooth out some. I want to get this area looking nice, and then we can kind of go back and redo how the heights are. There we go. Okay, let's go back to the scenery. Let's grab the crates. Have these things for some reason. There. Maybe we can put one over here. And another one like right next to it. We have barrels too. It's exploding one. We don't need an exploding one. That's that'd be dangerous right now. People coming in, we don't want to scare them off just yet. There's one there. Let's put one over here. And we can do it a small one on top of this guy. Kind of set up a little corner here. Okay, so behind it, let's let's go ahead and make a little passage thing happen too. So we'll take this. 
to free move. And kind of bring up this area. Kind of like how we did that pillar on the other side. There we go, and then go straight up. Kind of beautiful, beautiful eyes this a little bit. Okay, let's see how we look here. The start, the start. We now we can bring this down to it and interconnect it. And what we can do is have a little passageway that leads to the thing in the back that we're gonna build. Come on, baby, get done. Yeah. Okay, and then we can make this a little thicker. Whoa. That's the wrong area. We can clean up that other spot here later. It's kind of painted in. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, man. Calm. What are you doing? Here, how about we'll just go back to this camera. And this will kind of give some separation to the room, too, because we can then pull this across and make it look a little less uh, like just one big old hole. Maybe, again, a cave system. Looking at that. Yeah, that looks okay. We need to bring this up a little bit more. We'll have to change some of the lighting going on in here, but let's bring up the size of the smidge and pull back the intensity. I guess we don't need it this deep over here after all. Let's pull uh, a little bit bigger size then. There we go. It's looking a little more passagey now. Let's bring this back a little. Uh, I guess we need to move the light. There we go. We can go back to terrain. Let's put the size down a smidge again. We can use the brackets to do that. And you can use the plus and minus key to change your intensities too for minuteness if you don't want to use the mouse for it. Fill this in a little bit, kind of make it a more, again, passagey. Not so much open cave. This is the, I really like this. I like the fact that we can do this and this, this will probably save on some draw calls using the terrain. Uh, I'm sure it has a little bit better, uh, passes on it so hopefully this will help out with the in the long term of like rendering and stuff and freight frame rate excuse me <coughs> excuse me wow i am just all bad today i am bad i apologize for being bad it's not the good kind of bad sometimes there's a good bad this is a bad bad i think so bring this down some more and make it less just barely coming up and more it's part of it There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that brings us into this section. I'm visualizing this being a little bit bigger. Let's go back to the free camera mode. There we go, and let's smooth this out with this height. And kind of go, whoa, my cat just jumped on my arm. Thank you, TC, I appreciate that, thank you. Let's clear out about this much of what we got, probably about that far in. There we go, and then we can take you and kind of increase the size, we'll go like this. Increased intensity. And now we need to have a light inside of here so I can see what's happening. So let's grab you. Let's bring you over here. That's not too bad. It actually kind of got to where I want it to be. So now we're actually going to build something um, in here. I had an idea that this might, might make this look kind of cool. I don't know. It might or it might not. That's the question. Uh, what do we have? Do we have like a wood plank looking floor? Wood. It's a little too clean. Is there, it might not be another choice. There's a wood plank. Okay, so is, is there a roof? Top wall flat. How does that look? Oh, that's going to snap into square. So we might have to use that modern looking one. Oh, that really kind of sucks because I, I think this will. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If I could make that. Can I? 
rotate you. No, I can only rotate you around. So that's that's how that goes. Uh, dang it, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and work on some more of this, I guess, and get something worked out. And we'll come back before we're done. That way we can kind of, you guys can see what the deal is. And we, we aren't just sitting here staring at, a, at the screen waiting for me to choose something because I'm being indecisive on choosing stuff. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I've only worked on a little bit. Uh, I've, I've actually been on it for over an hour and a half, but it looks pretty good. Uh, I just want to kind of scope into it. So this light needs to go up top. I'm trying to get the lighting right in here, too, for this, these sections I've finished. I like how it, like, m highlights the dragon, but this thing up here, let's play and show you what we've got done over here. <laughs> I'm really proud of this myself. Like so over here, we'll we get the fencing up so people can't get in. I wanted to have dark so it made you look into here more, but we've got two pirates hanging out. One guy's looking around, the other guy's just chilling. Some barrels back here. I put this mushroom light back here just to give some blue and it's not overpowering. Um the water is in here. We have a little light glowing up blue. Over here, I've got like three or four different effects so I, they're supposed to, you can't barely see it but there's supposed to be visual things of water coming down and then i did a dry ice drop and then i use the snow thing just to kind of give little chunks to come down so it's like, like little splatters of water maybe a little bit i don't know no that kind of doesn't but whatever a uh, little guy here then i use one of the dock pieces put a torch on it put a barrel up there's the that have a cannon up here got a little lighty floaters and stuff like that i built this thing out of all the building pieces and put up some lights and we got an idle pirate back here just chilling and some other things but i really feel like it's pretty cohesive a lot of these are just rocks like just put in and layered just to kind of get some more depth into it and then adding that around there and having some rocks around the campfire kind of helped break up the campfire look too so i feel like that looked really good this took a long time um but it's it, the good it, the thing you can tell when it's a good fun game is that you don't realize it and i realize it. i'm like holy crap i've been doing this for like an hour and a half but I'm happy with how it turned out. At least you can tell there's water pretty much going on here. And I think it looks pretty good. Even at the ladder on the side, just in case they fall in the water, you know, the any, anything, but just the pirates kind of thing. But um, I thought it looked cool. <laughs> You're walking into a theme park, you know, so you got the dragon thing. There's This is using more of like your lighting and your depth to kind of create it and not as much stuff. But I did a combination over here to kind of... Again, um, it looks kind of weird with the smoke going up and the smoke and the dry ice coming down, but they are different textures, it looks like. Um, but uh, I might have to mess with that some more. I don't know. But generally, that is kind of what we got. Um, I really need to build something else up in the front. And we have people that we have lines of people wanting to come in and it's not even ready yet. <laughs> I don't really care. It's sandbox mode. We got money. So I just want to get everything nice in this whole area. So I'll probably make this thing off camera. And next episode, I'll have it done, and then that way we can have this whole entrance done. So we don't do two episodes of just, you know, working on, like, the the entrance entrance to the place. But I kind of like it. It has, it has potential. There's 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 stuff in there. It's a come in with a flat nothing, and then come up with that so far. I'm pretty happy. I can't wait to get some houses on top of this thing, or maybe a tower, and then some more trees and rocks, and kind of form this up so it looks a little bit better. But I'm, I'm good. Tell me what you think down below, what you think of this game. And, um, yeah, so either way, thank you guys so very much. And you all have yourselves a good night.